programming language so to do that we need something called a compiler now the compiler will take your code it will translate that into machine readable code when the compiler has uh, finished its process of compiling the machine your computer will understand what you're trying to do and after you have completed your compilation part if you um, ask your editor to execute the program the machine your computer will uh, interpret that you want to you want to view the output of this program so it will refer back to its compilation process and it will understand that it it's you are asking it to produce this uh, text or this sentence on the console so the machine or the computer uh, retrieves this Im information and it then converts that onto a uh, onto a console output which we as human beings can understand so the first step is to compile this entire code into something that we uh, into something that the machine can understand and after the compilation occurs we need to tell the compiler and the machine that we want to look at the output which we as human beings can understand so we first need to build this and then we can run this running is the process of executing your codes which I have already um, explained the building part is actually compiling your code we can do th both of them together using this uh, small icon if you click on the small icon it will both compile your code then immediately it will execute your code and it will you'll see the result on your command prompt or on your terminal or on your uh, console so uh, and if your program is successful it will show you something like this so let's do that you can even do this using this build f9 like clicking on this uh, button let's do that so if you look onto this part it has it's telling me that the program has compiled successfully it has been um, it it has been executed successfully with zero errors with zero warnings and it took two seconds to do that to complete its task so let's look at the output now that's what I wanted to see on my console I wanted to print out my name m simply my name on the command prompt and the com um, and my program is doing exactly the same thing now let's look at uh, now let's look at the directory that we created earlier we saw that we only created on a single file with the extension of dot c now we have two other files one with the extension of dot exe which is uh, ex which is an executable file and the other one is known as the dot o uh, is known as the dot um, it it has uh, it's an object file actually so it has the uh, extension of dot o now behind the scenes what's happening is that we have included let's close this um, we have included a library file so this is known as the library file so this is also known as the header file if you look carefully it has got a name a dot and something called h so this is telling us it's a header file so this dot h is the extension that's that through which we can enter uh, interpret uh, through which we can interpret what it is what sort of file it is we have seen how we can understand um, how uh, how we can understand what a c file looks like a c file will essentially have an extension of dot c so a header file will have an extension of dot h now this header file is simply a text file 
which means it has uh, additional uh, additional codes that has helped us to use this function called printf now we're not going to discuss about functions right now functions for the basic understanding you need to understand uh, you need to uh, know that functions are uh, are written to provide an action so functions are are there to uh, explain to the program some sort of action that we are we need we intend to perform for this program now action some you can uh, compare action something with real life like walking is an action for a human being um, then talking is an action for a, for a human being then uh, running is also an action for a human being like that's uh, you can compare that even with the C program in here we have got two functions the first one is the main function so the main is actually the heart of the C program if you do not write the main function in in your projects in your C, uh, C, C programming projects or if you omit this main function in your C files then your program won't run your compiler will be complaining about this now let's see what our compiler or our ID tells us if we omit this part um, let's save this now let's let's actually build this first uh, rather than executing it let's build this or let's compile this first you see it's, it's failing it's actually failing it's telling me something awkward it's telling me on line 4 if you click on this expected declaration uh, specifier or three dots before string const fe build fail one error and all those stuff now it's actually getting confused our compiler behind the scene has got confused that what is actually happening because the first thing that it finds is a header file so it brings all this functionality that's stored inside that header file inside your C f um, inside this file that you created then again it does not find the main function which means it ha there is you have got the heart missing you have got the uh, entire major part missing from your program if you do not have that that means your you, you your program won't run you're you're missing the actual block to create your program so it's bringing all this functionality from that um, from that header file and then it's going to this function straight that's telling the compiler to print the program so it's getting confused so why is it getting confused because there is no main function the main function actually dictates every single action every single property that that you're going to place inside your pr program so to do that you can't miss out that main function because it's the foremost part and the foremost important part that you need to include